this is Dusty from the Rug Badger and today I am here to show you how easy it is for anybody to use the Rug Badger to get that gritty ground in dry abrasive stubborn soil out of rugs. It just won't come out any other way. You gotta get that dirt out when the rug is dry. So that's what the Rug Badger is all about. It's a dry soil separator. It takes the gritty ground in dirt out of the rug when the rug is dry and then you finish it off with the cleaning procedure that you use. I call it YCS. You finish it off with YCS. That stands for your cleaning system. The one that you know and trust. And I always encourage everybody to get training as well to learn how to clean oriental rugs. If you're not sure where to go, just talk to me. I'll tell you who the teachers are out there that can teach you how to clean oriental rugs without getting into trouble. So today I'm going to show you how to use a rug badger. Simple, easy, safe. The rug badger I'm going to demonstrate to you. It will not only get the dirt out of the rug faster than anybody has ever seen. Secondly, it will do it without damaging a rug and it will not grab hold of the edge of a rug. This is very important. I want to show you this, that it is very easy to operate. So here it goes. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to roll out our grid. This is what makes the rug badger really rock. It makes actually the rug badger work three times faster and get dirt out of even thicker rugs. Then I'm going to roll out a rug upside down on the grid. Then I'm going to roll the rug badger out, show you how easy it is to use and how it does not grab hold of the edge of the rug. So here it goes. This here is our rug rack grid. It's galvanized. It will never rock the stuff as tough as nails. It's actually, uh, <clears throat> it's, it's like I say, it's, uh, it's galvanized. It's one third of an inch thick. Um, because it's square, a square um, pattern here, when the dirt drops into the grid, it will not spread away. It really minimizes the soil from traveling around the shop. And that is why we encourage people to get this because it has really no surface area so the dirt can drop down into the grid rather than getting stuck on the top. Like some grids have a lot of surface area. This has virtually no surface area so the soil can drop into the grid and it will remain trapped there until you're ready to vacuum it or sweep it up um, and get it out of the way. And there it is. Upside down, remember, the badger is for removing the soil out of the back of a rug when the rug is upside down. So it'll set up harmonic vibrations deep into the back of the rug and the soil will drop out. So here comes the rug badger. Okay, so I'm going to push the rug badger back and forth slowly over the edge of the rug and you'll see for yourself how it will float over the edge but it will not grab hold of of the rug and it will not damage the rug. And then I'm going to show you another trick on how to deal with a rug that has very, very, very uh, rotten fringes or if you have a rotten back on a rug and you're worried that the rug badger could be a little bit aggressive, I'm going to show you what to do about that. So first off, let's just run over the edge and I'll show you how well the rug badger works. Now as you can see, I actually went right over the edge. I'm going to do this again. You watch for yourself. Now I'm going to show you just how easy it is to steer. Now a lot of people were wondering you know, how you can steer it because these are not steerable wheels. Well, we just push down on the handle and what that does is it lifts the front of the machine up and that allows us to be able to steer it very very easily it's very simple so um, watch and I will show you So there you go, it's proof that the rug badger will not grab hold of most rugs. Now I'm going to show, show you what to do if you have a rug that say has a very fragile uh, fringe, for example. Um, maybe it's rotten because somebody has done some fringe bleaching on it and, and you, know, you can tell by just giving the, the fringe a quick little pull like this and if it just pops 
off, you know it's rotten, and you wouldn't want to run over with a rug badger, but of course, it's still very important to get the grit out to the edges. Now, I know in my shop, my repair guys, they won't repair rug. They will not do a surge on the edge. They will not do repair on the end. They will do not not do overcasting if we don't get the grit out at the edge of the rug. And that's why it's so important to be able to go right up to the edge and over the edge. So you're getting those harmonic vibrations deep into the back of the rug, even right to the edges and to the fringe ends where there's so much soil. So the rug badger can get right up to those areas. You don't have to worry about pinning down the edge with anything because the rug badger it, pushes the rug out in front of it, it will not pull up into it. And this is why we designed the rug badger this way for ease of use. So let me now show you what to do when you have a rug that has um, a delicate fringe or say it has a rotten spot in it and you still want to get the dirt out of the rug but you don't want to damage the rug. Of course, you got to get the dirt out, that's what your clients are paying you for, but you don't want to beat up the rug. So let me push the rug badger back out of the way for a moment. This is all we do, we put the Tyvek paper over the back of the rug so we can still get all the energy into the back of the rug and get the gritty damaging soil out and not hurt the rug at all. So again, this is for delicate rugs, this is for rugs that have fragile fringes, this is for rugs that have rot in them. You want to have some Tyvek around, I always recommend have a roll of Tyvek because this will protect the rug and you can still do full badgering on it, so watch and see. As you can see, it's noisy doing this, but you can still go over those very fragile fringes and edges with the rug badger, get all that gritty dirt out, get out the soil that your clients are actually paying you to remove, the soil that your clients actually think you're removing, you can still get it out of the rug prior to YCS, that's your cleaning system that you already know and trust. Use the rug badger safely, effectively, thoroughly, it will not damage the edge of the rug, will not pull the rug into the machine. It's designed for ease of use, it's very effective. Okay, well let's see what actually badgered out of this rug. I'm going to roll the rug badger back and then I'm going to roll the rug back and we'll roll up the grid and uh, when you look under the grid, it's going to look like there'll be a bit of a checkerboard pattern, but that's from the grid, just want to remember that. Then we're going to uh, take a look, see what actually badgered out of this rug in just a couple of short minutes. The rug back a little bit here. Roll the rug rack grid. So there you go, folks. It's just absolutely shocking what will come out of a rug. What's even more shocking is what comes out of a rug that was actually already shampooed and steam cleaned or even washed in a wash bed because. If it's missed the mechanical vibrating action of a rug badger, well, the, quite frankly, the soil is still there every time. And this is all that gritty, grounded, dry, abrasive soil that wears out rugs decades before their time. And it's the soil that your client thinks you're getting out, and it's the soil that your clients are, is, are they're paying you to get out. And you know, when you have a rug badger, and you have that confidence, you're getting that soil out, it's amazing what it will do to your business and help you. And that's what you get with a rug badger. When you get a rug badger from, from us, we help you with your marketing and we share marketing material with you that can really rocket your carpet cleaning business to success. So again, my name is Dusty. I'm looking forward to talking to you. And I'm always here to help you get more out of rugs.